Ollie, could you make some recommendations about further research that you could do if you want to go into greater depth? Further research I could do? I could go to Istanbul again, go back to the factory, and yep. um, I could I could take notes as opposed to um, uh, try and try and um, just take everything into my brain. Yeah. It was quite a um, it's quite a heavy day the, the the way that I I worked there for a day, and I got told so much. Um, but unfortunately, the uh, symbol master Leon did not speak a lot of English. Um, so maybe I can go back with a uh, a person. You could translate all of the stuff that he he feels um, should be necessary for me to know, um, and that will complete my research. I reckon. I don't think I can go any further than that. Okay. Um, could you sort of assess the effectiveness of primary research? How did how well did that go for you? The thing is, with, uh, with secondary research, you kind of um, get to know things. On a whim, you don't really know if it's true. It could be hearsay. It could be any of these uh, circumstances, which might just not be true. Um, primary research, research, you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth. So uh, there's no reason as to why uh, s such persons will um, not tell the truth, for example. And uh, me talking to symbol masters, um, it's the it's the best primary research I could have ever got. Um, because it's straight from the horse's mouth, straight into the brain. You know it's true. You know it's it's really good um, advice, and just it's just it's just a lot better than secondary research. Okay, excellent. Um, could you just assess some of the secondary research you did? Was there anything useful? For instance, you said you any information you found out about Zildjian, mm. I'm assuming, was secondary research. No. Um, as in, I you found it from someone else. You didn't find it. You know, no, I, I, I pretty much learned everything <laughs> from Leon. Right. Um, so, in, in terms of the Zildjian, what you learned about Zildjian, then? Yeah, he that could, he's, he's that could class as secondary research, I guess. Because it could class as secondary yeah. research. Um, and did you find that useful? Um, I couldn't. I couldn't find any of the secondary research, as far as symbols go, useful to me, when I've got someone who can tell me absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, like I met a man who knew Mr. Ziljan um, in Istanbul back in the day and how he made his symbols and how they're being made now. I learned how they're being made now a lot more um, by the internet and through some books, magazines, drama magazine stuff, um, which, which is it's interesting and useful, um, but it's not kind of exciting. Um, I, I, I'm a, I'd, I'd much prefer uh, finding out such things in a more kind of uh, exciting way, as opposed to just reading. Okay, just finding them. Can you just sort of conclude, like, what? How has your research about this topic kind of influenced your music, or how do you think it will influence the sound or the music that you make? Um, well, through the, um, uh, I, I've learned other artists, other drummers that use um, the same kind of symbols as what I do, and so, funnily enough, they. Quite a few of them do the same, have the same kind of style as I do. Quite heavy, quite hard hitting, quite. So in terms of techniques, the, yeah, the, so the, the it's symbols. It's the same the technique te yeah. because you've you've got a baby up here which has been handcrafted by a, by a poor man who's been paid pittance. Um, so you, so you learn to kind of use the har the harmonics of the symbols by by hitting them like uh, like that with the drum kit with the drumstick, as opposed to just having a normal symbol and that just being. A weird sound which doesn't really make sense. Um, it's just. I've, I've forgotten the question. Really. Any more techniques? You just, that any, you more can, techniques? Any, any more techniques that you can use musically because of this? Yeah, because of symbols. Um, yeah, so you talked about that one about hitting the symbols on the sides. Yeah, you've, you've, got, you've got the side hitting which, um, hit, which makes the harmonics and it all it all works. It works with the with the instrumentation as well, it works with the guitars, works with the bass. Um, you've got the bells, of course, which are perfectly, perfectly tuned. Um, harmonically, which is just, well, it's just great, and it's just the way that you, you you treat your handmade symbols is is kind of different. It becomes part of the music. It becomes part of the music. It becomes part of um, like what you are as a drummer. Um, but of course, sim symbols plus drums equals drums. But the symbols are probably the most important thing, and right. them being handmade is just... Okay, so potentially then for, for further research, maybe you could research the drum side of things uh, for, for a further research project? A further research project, I'd probably go for, um, uh, not custom, but 
old 1970s, 1960s maple shells, big sizes, uh, deep snares, and the way that those um, big sizes on old drum kits uh, cut through more powerfully in a recording sense, and especially in a live sense, and how they work with the cymbals. Okay, excellent. Thanks, Ollie.